Oh my God, I just accidentally tasted it. And holy <laughs> this tastes like peaches. Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I go over oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out and reviewing the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I have been wanting to try this powder for such a long time, but of course, it is quite expensive and I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna work out for me, especially with my crazy oily skin. It claims to be um, long wearing. It claims to be long wearing for up to 14 hours. So it's supposed to control all of your oils for that long. I'm not gonna be testing it out for the 14 hours because that's an insane amount of time to keep your makeup on. So I will be trying it on for as long as possible. I will do a check-in at the end of the day to check on that promise of it being oil free. Also, it's supposed to be a translucent powder with a peach tint. I don't understand that. Is it translucent or does it have a hint of color? So let's get started. So let's start with packaging. It is absolutely adorable. I love the whole peach theme and I love the fact that everything is scented peach. I am not one of those people who are hating on um, fragrances. I love them. I don't have a very great sense of smell, so that's probably why. Um, it doesn't really bother me that much, so I like it. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like it, then that's, this is probably not for you, but definitely for those who love the smell of peach, let's get this thing opened. <laughs> I actually can't smell the peach yet. And I know some people say that they smell it as soon as they take it out of the box and they haven't even taken off the sifter because it's that strong, but I, I really can't smell it. I should probably go to the doctor or something. <laughs> I'm trying to open it as carefully as possible and not break a nail or anything. Whew. I love that it has this sifter protector. I love that so that way it doesn't get all messy and you don't get your top all dirty. Let's go ahead and shake this, get some of that powder out. I definitely smell it now <laughs> and it smells so good. I absolutely love it. Okay, so the only thing I have on is my foundation and my eyebrows, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer so that way I can start using this powder. Okay, so I am all concealed up and for those of you who don't know me, I do not like to highlight my face with concealer. I only like to conceal my under eyes, but I do bake my face, my whole face, because I am insanely oily. So I will definitely just be using it all over my face. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna go into the powder with my damp sponge and just start putting it all over my face. It does look like it's very finely milled, which I really like. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm not going for any... Cr oh my God, I just accidentally tasted it and holy this tastes like peaches. This makes me wanna have another try. <laughs> okay, is that just me? I mean, I inhaled it, so um, I don't know if that was just like, oh my God, I, okay, I'm seriously accidentally inhaling it again and it tastes so good. Does anyone else think that it tastes good? It's like eating a dessert. I like it. <laughs> I like this so far. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Back to business. Okay, and I am just going over my smile lines because I creased there. And right here, right above the chin because I also creased there in between my lip and my chin. And then it's also gonna go all over the nose because I get crazy oily there and my foundation tends to come off. And then the last place that I am going to bake is right in between my eyebrows because I get real oily and real creasy. Okay. Obviously it's definitely hard to tell if it's working right now. Um, so I'm just gonna let this bake really quick and then I'll be right back. I have baked long enough and I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. Is it just me or does my concealer look not as bright? Did this just give me a tan? Do I look darker? <laughs> uh, 
Hmm. I mean, it's a good thing I put it all over my face, so that way there's not like darker areas. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's not like it's a huge difference. I do think that it covered everything pretty nicely. I look crazy matte, which I live for. I think it did a really good job with matting everything out and really just setting this concealer. Okay. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. Here is the completed look. And I am looking at this powder and, oh. Lipstick on my teeth as always. I'm just glad that I realized it now and not when I'm editing. All right, let's get back to the video. I am really, really loving this powder. It's looking so good. It's just blending in with the rest of my makeup so perfectly. As soon as I hit that setting spray, everything just looks so perfect. Just look at this. So I cannot wait for the end of the day check-in. I know that I was having some issues in the beginning, like, oh my God, this powder oxidized. But now that I'm done with my makeup, it looks kind of really good. I kind of really like it. And I'm just really hoping that this works out in the end because holy crap, this looks so good, so flawless, so blurred, so seamless. But of course, the real test is how this holds up for my crazy oily skin. Also, I am here in Texas, so yesterday it got up to like 100 degrees, and we are in the middle of October. It gets real hot, and it's so, so humid. I will definitely let you know later on tonight. I will see you guys then. All right, so I am back for my check-in, and it is 10 hours later. I am looking at myself in the mirror right now, and my makeup is still looking so good. It looks flawless. Everything is still on there. I have blown my nose and my foundation has stayed on. I did try to touch up, but really no oil came through. I just wanted to make sure that the touch up process was going to be flawless because that's something that I do struggle with because I am so oily. Whenever I do try to touch up, stuff starts shifting, starts grouping, and starts coming off. So I always need to make sure that I can touch up with every new product and really no oil came off. So I did take just a little bit of powder and just blended out the creases of my smile and then the crease in between my lip and my chin. And that was a couple of hours ago and still everything is looking so good. Let me just do a close up so you guys can see. I don't know if that was too close, but I really just wanted to show you guys just how well this product turned out. Of course, I will still be trying it out for a few more days. I don't just kind of rely on a one day wear test. I do keep trying it out to make sure that this really is truly best for oily skin. So let me know down in the comments below, have you used this product? Do you like it? Is there something better out there that I need to try? And give this video a thumbs up if you like this product and this video <laughs> um, and please subscribe for more content as I have so much to give you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thanks. Bye.